Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hadi Asim. I am student of class 4A. I am studying in Pakistan School, Monga Square. I am taking online classes through e-learning. I am learning a lot from this. I have learned about system unit that is CPU. It is also called brain of computer. We can divide its, its part into two categories. Let's have a look over it. These are two categories. Essential part. Number two, optional parts. Essential parts. Power supply. Number two, motherboard. Number three, microprocessor. Number four, RAM. Hard disk. ROM. Input output parts. I.O. parts and cards. Power supply. Computer needs electricity to work. Power supply provides electricity. Motherboard. Motherboard provides a platform to attach the other parts. Like this. Microprocessor. Controls and processes all the activities of a computer. This is the microprocessor. This is the RAM. Hard disk. Disk provides storage area to save the data and computer program for future use. This is hard disk. ROM. Read only memory. ROM is a permanent memory of a computer. This is ROM. Input and output port. Port and card provide option to attach the external device to the computer. These are Input ports, keyboard, mouse, scanner, other output, which connect to the CPU. These are output ports, monitor, printer, speaker, other outputs. I.O. card. I.O. cards are also called expansion. These. These are the pictures. Let's go to the other category that is optional part. For them, CD drive, floppy drive. Modem. Modem is a device which enables a computer to communicate with other computers. Types of modem. Internal modem, external modem. CD ROM drive. We can save and view data by using CD ROM drive. This is CD and this is CD-ROM drive. Floppy drive. Personal computer has floppy drive to assess the information. A floppy disk can store 1.5 million characters in it. So this was all about the system unit. Thank you. Have a nice day.